Albany and Freeport opened sometime in the 1980s after previously relocating from the Lincoln Mall on the north side of town. The store is now preparing to close in the middle of 2020, thanks to JCPenney's bankruptcy. This is a very good example of a rural JCPenney store. Freeport has a population of about roughly 23,000 people and is in the decline. And they, Freeport is the definition of struggling medium-sized Midwestern city. There's just not a lot going on over here after they lost so much industry and so many jobs. And this has been a thing that has been going on since the 1980s. For JCPenney, this store is small. It, it's extremely dated and it isn't worth for them to keep open. Walking into the store is almost like stepping into like a 1980s time capsule. The lighting, the colors, everything just combined creates this like... It's just very 80s in here. In the back corner of the uh, store is where they have like a salon and there's this little hallway leading to this like mysterious back entrance that just takes you out by the loading dock. Kind of a strange little detail. There's also a salon back there. This, this area is just kind of weird and it doesn't really make much sense. At this point in the sale, everything was 40 to 70% off, but still, things still felt pretty expensive. Almost everything was actually 40% off, and the sale had been going on for about a month before this, and they still, in reality, had a lot of merchandise left. The store was fully stocked. The store also wasn't that busy. This was filmed on a weekend, and the prices here just really weren't all that great. Everything was basically 40% off, and you could get stuff for 50% off or better deals when the store was regularly open. It's scam phase, you know. As for the future of this building, there sadly is not very much hope. There are numerous other uh, major retail vacancies surrounding this store, including a vacant Kmart just in the same plaza as this. There just sadly isn't a lot of hope for this building. If they haven't been able to fill all these other buildings with any sort of use, there's not much hope for this one, sadly. Freeport as a whole is struggling and I wish them the best to try to repair things here because losing their only department store other than a Walmart is not a good thing and will continue to harm Freeport's chances to revive themselves in any way. This is the kind of weird back entrance that uh, really was kind of unexpected to see for me. There's really no parking back here too. I really hope that uh, you enjoyed this video. I, I, I know it was a smaller store 
and it was a smaller video because of that but i hope you enjoyed it remember to continue wearing your mask with this whole uh, coronavirus uh, pandemic going on kind of would like the stores to remain open that would be kind of nice if you'd like to watch another store tour or another video at all i got some other options for you on the screen right now and you could choose one. i don't know and as always thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day